Uh, yeah, let's um, begin the next talk. And I want to take the opportunity to... Do you have the PDF? Yeah. It was two people, right? Yep. Okay. So I want to uh, thank, um, uh, take the opportunity to thank two people for um, helping. Yeah. Um, um, a big thanks to Mark McCurry. Yeah, uh, for his generous donation. And um, by more or less coincidence, it's not a sponsored talk or anything. Um, we will see his uh, Mark McCurry software uh, in the talk as well. I, I, I think because it's in the title, it's uh, Synet SubFX. And um, the second one. Yeah. Um, also, thank you, Hans-Peter Portner, for sponsoring Intonations. Okay, so, um, with that, please welcome um, Anfa for his talk, Synthesizing EDM with Ardor and Synapt SubFX. Yeah, I'm on. <laughs> hey, welcome to Sonoy. <laughs> so uh, we're going to make some music. Uh, but um, I would like to ask you some questions. The, the first one is, who is the first time on Sonoy this year? <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry, I just couldn't resist to ask a stupid question. Uh, the second one is, uh, do any of you know who I am? Because I'm going to introduce myself to those who doesn't, but I'm just curious. Have anybody watched my videos, maybe? Wow. Anybody listen to my music? Wow. Nice. Cool. Uh, so that was it. Uh, for those of you who don't, who don't know me, uh, my name is Tobias Karoń, and I use uh, an internet moniker Anfa. I'm making electronic music for a longer time. I started off with FL Studio, but I wanted to do something legally, and without having money, I had to resort to free software and later open source software. I released a bunch of long plays made mostly with LMMS, that's mostly drawn based music and this kind of vibes on Bandcamp. And I'm making YouTube videos about open source music production. And I have almost one and a half thousand subscribers, which is cool. I also started Patreon, so um, a bunch of people is supporting me now. So maybe this will allow me to make the videos and the music and promote the fact that you can make cool music with open source software uh, wider and maybe make this a half time job for me. I don't know. If the community needs that, it's going to happen. So one of my goals in all of what I do is, in all that I do, is to prove that open source software is capable of producing top quality music with modern standards. That it's not just something you, you hack in the basement and you do something 8-bit stuff. That you can do really modern and cool, cool music with it. Uh, before I begin, I want you to take a part in a little thought experiment. So, close your eyes, please. Close your eyes. Imagine that we are on a huge stadium. And the stage is five meters high. And the speakers are 15 meters high. And there are thousands of us. And we're all waiting for the bass drop. One for the freedom. Two for the show. Three for Richard Stallman. Here we go. Yo. What? What the? F that didn't happen in any rehearsals. Successfully run out of music. What? 
What is this? You now have to make a decent trap in 50 minutes or the Linux kernel will be destroyed. Shoot. The countdown begins now. Alright, so maybe you just shut up and let me do music. Well, so we have uh, a good motivation, <laughs> at least. Alright, so uh, I gotta make some music, uh, otherwise the next kernel will be destroyed. That's a pretty shitty situation. And we have some fucked up buffer, but we're gonna do music anyway. Alright, so uh, we need a kick drum. Nothing, nothing happens without a kick drum. Nothing. This is slow. Doom, 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 doom. Maybe 125 will do? Uh, all right, all right. Uh, all right, all right, all right. I'm turning, I'm turning down my my mic, and I'm just uh, all right. Uh, uh. Okay, I'm gonna loop this thingy, and I'm gonna put some notes. One, two, three, four. Let's loop this for whatever reason. We have some weird audio stutter. that I never experienced before. I'm gonna try and make it, anyway, working. All right, so, uh, can I make a kick drum? We have, let's just. All right, so we have totally fucked up everything. Good, great start. Don't know where to start? Break it. Uh. All right, so we have a sine wave. Let's give it a frequency envelope. So it's going to go from high to low. Yeah, kind of like that. We need to pitch it down. Yeah, that's going to sound more like a kick drum. Uh, I, it is. I have no idea. I tried this and never had this thing sound like that. So, mm. I'm gonna make it shorter. Yeah, it's like switch off Wi-Fi, maybe. Maybe check what what kernel I'm running, huh? You name A, not Anfa. You name. It's low latency. It should work. It worked. Yeah, because it didn't work. <laughs> it still didn't. Doesn't work. Uh, so I can try, for example, changing the buffer. All right. Then shitty sound all the way through. <laughs> the kernel will be destroyed! I think like the best thing I should do is just reboot this, but you know. <laughs> you know, it it just changes the way it it messed up. And it changes the way MIDI events are processed, which is what? Why? What? Yeah, maybe I just play some music from my head, from my phone, and and reboot this, huh? What do you think? Good idea? Yay! All right, pseudo reboot, bitch.
So yeah, back online. When you're breaking it, break it to the max. Warning, I'm gonna play some music. Well, it's sound. I'm putting out the jack output. Uh, it's quiet. Hello? Hello? Yeah, you can, but there's music playing and it, it's not... Do you have input from the jack, mini jack? You don't? Now you have? Yeah. So that's that truck is called For the Kicks. Maybe that's a joke with the actual situation, I don't know. You can make it a joke if you want. Now I'm gonna type my password three times wrong. That's the most embarrassing version of this show I ever imagined in my head. Nice. I've really surpassed my limitations right there. <laughs> or ASCII art music, or I don't know. Is there ASCII art music? We should make it if it's not. Challenge accepted. Okay. I, I think it's cooking. <laughs> I'm, af I'm afraid it's cooking up. All right. So, screw the history, uh, the story. Uh, that guy with that voice can wait. We have systems to reboot and music to make. Oh, by the way, uh, I've put out a new album yesterday on Bandcamp. And this is from that album. It's done with mostly LMMS and Ardor. If Ardor wants to run... Hello? And if any of one, any one of you would like to buy a CD, I have a bunch of them. <laughs> They're homemade. Woo! Sweet! None one, not one is the same because they have numbers and they are not well put together because they're by hand and I'm not a professional manufacturer of CDs. Okay, you sweet. Not sure what's happening. Maybe I have two orders running. I think I do. Yeah. Let's try it again. Which one will go first? Sweet! If... Yeah, now we have two. Okay. Oh yeah, because I have no video output. Uh. Oh no. <laughs> uh. Sweet. Yeah. Oh no, if you don't have the music, it's totally shit. Alright, All right. something is, something is on. Let's try, maybe, let's try just one. If two is too much. Alright, so this is that instance, so this instance goes, bye bye. <laughs> Choose wisely. <laughs> All right. Uh, now I'm plugging out my jack from the phone to the thingy. Do we have an audio? Fuck yeah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Let's make some music now. All right, finally we can. Ah, oh. all right. Hey, I wanted seven of these. Okay, I can have. Can I have Zenats of FXs? Great. Man, love that sound. Just so, oh, so 
pure, so clean. Ah, <laughs> not like this mangled buffer thingy. Bleh, crackly shit. Actually, 120 BPM will do. Alrighty. While we're at it, I'm gonna make a kick drum this time proper. Uh, this is the new Zenit Sub FX interface. It's not open source fully yet. The source is uh, provided if you buy it, but it will be fully open sourced mid December. At least that's what Falk TX, no, sorry, not Falk TX. Uh, at least that's what Mark McCurry says. That's a little bit harsh. I would be very ACD. That's ACID. I don't like so ACD. I'm gonna make it less ACID filled. Okay, now for the amplitude of the voice, we need to make this shorter. Yeah. Is it still long? No better. I would like to make it louder. <laughs> All right, so we have one voice. Uh, we need something more, something to cut with the high frequency. So I'm going to add a little noise voice. So my normal oscillator is now a sound. I'm going to make it noise, but I'm going to make it quieter first because it's going to blast us off. I'm afraid. Let's turn off the first one. Turn on the second one. It's quiet. Okay. Change it to n white noise. Yeah, it is. It is there. Uh, we have a Lopez filter, the global one. Uh, so this is the global settings. We have the filter here and the cutoff. Yeah. Now we have the, all the noise we want. So we go to the voice settings. Let's make the amplitude envelope on, make it shorter. This is a kick, so we need a very, very short, just, just a click. Yeah. And now with the first voice. Ah, uh, yeah. Sweet. Now, let's use the global filter. It's by default the low pass one. I'm going to use the high pass one. Actually, high pass two, which is the resonating one. Because when it has the resonance, we can. Hello. Ah, oh, yeah. We can make this peak. Oh, shit. AC it again. Oh, that's nice. It's, uh, it's below 50 hertz, I guess. <laughs> it's quite deep. I'm going to make it sharper, increasing the stages. Yeah. Now, let's go to the effects. Insert effects. Uh, insert out part one, which is what we use. Let's add a little bit of drive. It's a little bit too loud. And we have a low-pass filter there, you can hear. We also have a high-pass filter, so we can distort only the highs. And then mix it back with the clean signal. Just the clean. Adds, adds a little edge to it. Now let's, let's go with another with just an EQ, I'm gonna add a high pass filter again. Just make sure we, oh no, not this one. There's the stages, we clean up the low end. All righty, we have a kick. Yeah. Woo! Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah! Let's make ourselves a hi-hat. I'm gonna use the same thingy. And now, 
You see, the cool thing Outdoor does by default is link all the MIDI clips that you duplicate. Whee! To deal with that, you go to Preferences, <laughs> and you dig around for an hour. <laughs> uh, no, sorry, it's not in Preferences. It's in Session Properties. Then you go to Miscellaneous, and then MIDI region copies are independent. There you go. Use these settings as default. Yes, please. <laughs> now, if I delete this, hello, hello, hello. Oh, I mean edit mode. Right. Now, if I copy middle mouse, drag this, hit E, I can move the notes, and it's not linked. Woo! Sweet. Now I'm gonna loop just my hi-hat, so I'm gonna solo this one. I'm actually gonna name the tracks so we don't lose ourselves in this mess. Kick. This is gonna be a hi-hat. Third will be snare. Because snare is just a kick plus a hi-hat, <laughs> really, with a different pitch. So it's logical. Let's solo this hi-hat. Let's loop it. We have my, our fantastic pure tone calming our nerves. What we need is make it short. So enable the envelope. All righty. Sweet. But, well, the, <laughs> the sine wave isn't really suitable for, for a hi-hat. So I'm going to use the noise. And now for the global filter, change it to high pass again, and dude, that's a simple hi-hat, sweet, what else do we need, ah yeah, let's get rolling with some snares, I'm gonna go like But I'm just out of the beat, so I'm gonna edit this hi-hat pattern and just use... I should use the kick pattern because that would better fit my need, but anyway, we got this. Let's solve the snare. Yeah. And now, the same thing as we did with our kick. Go to the voice, give it a frequency envelope. The. This is the attack value, and this is oh no, not necessarily. That's snappy, I like this. Not really useful for the sound, but I'm gonna just cut the part of it and then use it anyway. Yeah, this is gonna be just this just a click of our snare. I'm gonna go to the global filter again and turn the uh, low pass all the way up. So we have brighter sound. Go again. Now let's do voice two. So we have our cool sine wave again. Let's give it also a frequency envelope. Oh, I pitch shifted all the thing. No, just the voice. Yeah. Pitch shift all the things. Righty, this is our simple crappy tone of the body of the snare. Let's shorten it up. We can tune it later. Let's turn the global filter from low pass to high pass again. Yeah, I want to tune this. Mm, the filter, no, nah, the voice too. And just like make it uh, a little bit more. And 
maybe shorter. Right. Now we need some noise. Our hi hat component. More sine waves. Sheesh. Let's disable the first two voices so we hear just the noise. Let's maybe first make it quiet. Because it's gonna. The GoPro just died. Bye bye. Let's make it. I know. Good night, little buddy. It captured all the worst trouble we had, so that's that's good. It's gonna go for some video. I'm sure it's gonna be useful. My fails, 2017. Yay. Noisy. <laughs> Luigi is already tripping to this. <laughs> so little needed to to make joy in some people. That's amazing. I love it. I have the same thing, like it's just oscillator. Oscillator, filter, filter, yeah, woo, That's great, it makes, makes people make music after 10 years, first they just make noise. I want to filter this, uh, with just this voice, so I'm going to enable another filter, I'm going to make it a bandpass filter. Absolutely, a thousand times. Not on this interface, but yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna copy this voice. Paste it to the fourth one. If it's paste, paste. If not, I'm gonna use just the power of redo. Ah, yeah. Let's give it also a filter. Also a high pass this one. So we have our old noise and our new noise. And the new noise. Let's make it shorter. So we have a brighter noise burst, and then it decays with a more mellow noise. And if we turn on the rest of the voices, kind of snarish. Let's throw a distortion on, because that saves everything. You don't know what to do? Distort the shit out of it. It's going to work, somehow. See? Immediately better. That's, that's why we have loudness wars. People just think, oh shit, sounds like crap. I'm gonna crank it to 11. Oh, now it works. Oh, sweet. Let's try that. Now we have some weird phasing effects because of the filters playing with each other. Let's add another high pass filter. Make it sharp. Woo! Super sharp, man. Sharper than my knife. And I would add some high end with the high shelf. Oh no, that's gonna be painful. Just a teensy weensy bit. And I'm flipping the reverb, dude. Ah, yeah, big room. Just a bit. All right.
We have a beat. No, I just remove another one. Hey, it makes me want to jam with this and really just make some more complicated beat because it's so bare bones. Oh, funny. I did something else. Cool. is a bit loud. Alrighty, we need a bass line because otherwise the kernel will die. Bass, dude, bass. Bass for the rescue. I think I have a melody. Can I play it? <laughs> Sure, but why do we... Maybe I can record this. Most of my life I was just pressing mouse keys to make music. Let's try. Sweet. Quantization is going to help us out, probably. <laughs> you know, just let's leave it like that right now. And we see, we'll see if it works. If it doesn't, we're going to fix it. Don't fix it if it's not broken. I'm going to loop over the whole bass line. And maybe just solo it so we, don't, we can focus on the bass, not just the drums and everything. I love making basses. Oh. That, that lacks some definition. Now, there is a bug in Zenit Sub Effects. I'm not sure if it's fixed. If I enable modulation while I'm pressing a note or it's playing because it's releasing, it's going to crash. So I have to stop the music before I enable modulation to avoid doing that. Right. Hmm. Almost sidechain like. Let's do some funky stuff with a filter. Ah, we have a low cut. Now it's brighter. Let's maybe use a notch. Because it's gonna give us a really cool phaser like effect, but it's not a phaser. However, if you have a phaser, it creates a lot of these notches actually on the spectrum and they move around, so that's why it sounds similar. Let's give this an LFO. Almost like a Hammond organ. I think I need to distort this, because it makes everything better. Same goes for vocals, same goes for lullabies for kids. You don't want to sleep? <laughs> ah, shit. Oh yeah, 
yeah, I think I have a new reef. And when you can distort it twice, do it. But do it a little bit differently, because otherwise it's going to be boring, you know? Nobody's going to notice if you distort it the same way two times. Just do it differently. So I'm going to put another distortion unit. <laughs> Make it, uh, hmm, maybe the decimator, or, or quantization. Yeah. It turns everything into a staircase. Architectural design, yeah. Let's mix them together. Alrighty. Sounding pretty fat. Let's try an EQ. Maybe we should accentuate the low end a little bit. But just a little, otherwise we're gonna do something bad. Let's try just with a peak filter and sweep around and see what we like. Not that. Yeah, much more harsh. Sweet. Delicious. Let's see what our parts looks like. Ah, this note is quiet. I'm gonna make it louder. I'm gonna try to record it again because I have this other riff in my head. So I'm gonna mute this and move this over. Funky. <laughs> All right. So probably it's 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 for a big job for a quantize time quantization, but yeah, definitely. Oh, 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 dude. Actually, I wanted this to be here. No, here. This is this is all in a day's work, you know. You, you just have to do this stuff. <laughs> Nobody's gonna hear your idea in your head if you don't make it sound like it. And the ideas are changing as you're breaking things unintentionally because you discover cool things that wouldn't happen if you made it right. So being wrong is okay. Yeah, my favorite part. I think it kind of works. I want to add some portamento. Good idea. Thanks. Oh yeah, lazy ass. Now we could play with the octaves. Let's just hear with the beat. Huh? Yeah. The cool thing with bass lines is that if you just pick some notes, more or less random. Ah, oh, shit. All right. Hmm. Yeah. And shift them up an octave. And this 
one and this one. Nah. Shift Alt Up Arrow. Makes things interesting. Super simple. You just pick some notes, make them upper, higher, and oh, melodies. Wow. Alrighty, I think we're done with our baseline, kind of, sort of, because what else we can do? We need some more stuff. Colonel needs more music. I think I'm going to try to write some chords. Pa. 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 I think I should do this like this. It's funny, I don't know if people do this that way, but I just write chords like I write melodies. But I start with one melody and then I find melodies that go together in harmony, up or down. Let's listen to just that. Usually if I just do this... Ta I need to make this one lower. No? Something's not right here. It's gonna suck. There. of tension. Too much tension. <laughs> Everybody who has classical education probably <laughs> cringing right now. <laughs> right. I think I lost the context. I need to refresh myself with the bass line. It's funny because it kind of works. The last one, it, it, it doesn't resolve. That should be major, huh? Could this work? Let's give it something to easily hear the harmonies because a sine wave is a pretty bad thing. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> you, you guys learn fast. <laughs> this chord doesn't... I don't know. I think it sounds better now. Yeah. Uh, the the bass note uh, uh, of the last chord can uh, can down one semitone. Does like this? Yeah. Kinda. Yeah, but the bass note should change. <laughs> so I should update the bass line there. Up, up, be, be above. Huh? 
will will blend. It has to change two times. Doesn't work with the last highest note. Yeah. Works better now? Colonel's dying, what I'm doing. <laughs> Alrighty, well. Let's make this a pad like instrument. Maybe we can fix our chords later if it if they don't if they suck still. But if we distort it, I'm sure it's gonna work. No, actually. Now what I want to do is sidechain compress this with the kick. So it's gonna. I have no favorite plugins. That's that's wrong. Calf sidechain compressor. It's my favorite. So we have this guy. We go to pin out, and we enable sidechain input. We select the track we want to sidechain with. And it's gonna be our kick. We root it in. And now this guy can use that. When we enable this. make a, a variation of that with higher notes with these chords. Shift D to duplicate. <laughs> Let's maybe solo it. I think we have too much sidechain. Kinda, maybe, huh? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. The whole thing? Oh. On everything? Yeah, on the second one. Yeah, yeah. There too? Pick. We have some overlapping. Yeah. Let's try it. So 
we now have chord inversions, different chord inversions. It's awful. <laughs> 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 More sidechain so we can't hear anything, right? I actually would like to back off this sidechain compression because we can't hear too much. So we have a hint of the rhythm, but it doesn't cut off it completely. I'm going to also name it Pad. Yeah, maybe it's too loud. What could we have more? I'm thinking about a lead line, but... What, what? A cowbell? Oh, we, I think we can make a cowbell. <laughs> Let's make a cowbell, dude. <laughs> All right. Um, maybe before I program it, just... Yeah. That's actually funny. I never had this behavior. Right. Now we have this. I probably didn't set up Ardor completely. Mm. Probably don't, but never mind. I'm gonna manage. So I'm gonna use another module of Zenat SubFX, which is called PatSynth, which actually makes samples under the hood, and it has great things because it can make sound that are very rich harmonically. Mm. Where are you? We need something that they are going to give us a lot of harmonic content that we can then mess with. For example, we can use a sine filter. Oh no, it's a single filter. There is a sine filter. We need to apply to hear the changes. That's too much. We can also warp the waveform. And we can make it in harmonic. Uh, uh. <laughs> yep. I'm going to go shift U. So this is a bell-like sound. It doesn't have a harmonic series. So that should work for a bass for a something like a bell cowbell. I think I should probably pitch it down. One octave, maybe. Yeah! <laughs> We're getting there, cowbell! We're getting there! I think, uh, well, it, it needs to be short, that's for sure. So, this is frequency, not, 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 not our cosmic cowbell, our regular cowbell. Right, amplitude. I guess it's, if we accentuate the, the the body and and dim the highs with uh, with an EQ, it could work. Maybe we should pitch it down a little bit, not too much, but uh. how does this work? It doesn't. All right. I think we can manage. Play a different note. Ah, yeah. So I'm going to go to Effects and add an EQ. Distortion, yeah. 
If we have, if we want to have distortion, we should have it before the EQ. So I'm going to swap it for distortion. I think it works. Mm. Now an EQ. I wanna, I wanna have a high pass filter that resonates, so I can create a peak for the body. I think it's too much. And I want to dim the high frequencies a bit with a high shelf. Oh, sorry. Ah, that must have hurt. I don't know. Or different hi hats. Different types of cowbell, maybe. Like for a bigger cow. Right? Bigger cow. Yeah. <laughs> Huge cow. <laughs> okay, we have a low shelf. That could work. Let's give it some reverb to create uh, an illusion of a space. Space cow. Ah, man, I like this. It's a little bit too big, but I can't resist to leave it like that. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> All right. <gasps> a different note. This sounds just like a cowboy. Dude. It's too quiet. We can't hear it. Yeah. Like this. I think I'm going to just make one bar and just duplicate it. And we have... Yay! Can I hiss cowbell? Cowbell it is. It's quiet. We, we, need to, we need to crank it up. Distortion didn't manage. We can play trap with this. Sweet. Dude. Woo! We have the fucking cowbell, dude. How much time do we have? Yeah, let's say. <laughs> so we have crossed the 10 minutes preparation extra, and now we are in the 10 minutes um, audio problems section. So it's, uh, yeah, let's say 10 minutes. It's, it's okay. All right, because we could cut it here and do question and answer time. Okay, we can do that. Yep. You, you decide. So All right. Do you like it? Yeah, would you like to talk about this stuff or experiment or ask me questions? Let's hear the track. Ah, yeah. That sometimes happens. Note off doesn't work on the bass right now. I think this cable should do the, the, the part there, like, oh, with the bass. Oh. Okay. Da, 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 da. Ah. <sighs> All right, leave it. All right. I'm going to give the source. Uh, if you have Ardor and Zenit Sub Effects, you can hack this up. Uh, just, just come to me, and, and I'll give it to you. All right, I will send it to Niels, and Niels can publish it somewhere for, or something. If it's, yeah. <laughs> I should probably. Uh. At least for the cowboy part, Christopher Walken would be proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's a big thing. Okay, so do you want um, some questions? Yeah, hit me. 
<laughs> also, uh, maybe just because before we start the questions, there is one thing. Dude, I don't care. <laughs> There's one thing I wanted to sh show you. If it works. Oh, all my precious preparations gone to nothing. Well, well, it was fun. That was a mic to mic collision. So we were there. Come on. We were there, we were there, then we gone with this. Fuck. It's good. I will get you next time. <laughs> Computer farts. RMRF, yeah. <laughs> Bin bash, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> having that said, <laughs> yay! <laughs> we made it. Do you have any questions? Um. Hey, first, uh, congratulations, I think uh, it's a very cool track you just crafted here, so yeah, you're talented, that's good. Thanks. Um, I was wondering about, uh, you just said something, so it's a, it's a very tiny detail, but uh, uh, when, when working on the uh, tone for the Cobell, you said you, want, you didn't want to put the distortion after EQ. Um, I could see a reason why you would want to do that, so I was wondering what is your reasoning for putting distortion after instead of before? Uh, or the opposite, maybe. The other way, yeah. The, yeah. Other, the other way around. Yeah. So I, I thought about putting the distortion, if I were to put it after the EQ, I wouldn't achieve with the EQ what I wanted, because if I wanted to boost something with the EQ, if I boost something with the EQ and then I put distortion, it's gonna make that one peak I created, yeah, it's actually, gonna it create overtones. Yeah. It's gonna create a whole different spectrum and I, and I don't have the precision with the EQ I want. I could use EQ to emphasize some stuff so it distorts harder and then use another EQ to compensate for that. And yeah, that was my thought a, actually. It's a creative thing and, and I sometimes do that. I sometimes EQ things before, distort the hell out of that and then distort after to fix what I broke to make it distort yeah. in a certain way. All right, cool. Right, pass the mic. Thanks. Yeah. Well, about that too. Um, um, say you've um, indeed used the distortion first and then the EQ. Um, I'm not very familiar with uh, Synet Subfix. Um, can you change the order after you've already um, um, set the parameters of your effects that you can um, after you've set them, decide to um, instead put the EQ after the, before the distortion. Um, is that possible? I f I'm not sure. I think it's not right now. You can copy and paste effects, so you could mm. like do a weird thing like co copy it to somewhere else. But I think we should file a, an issue on GitHub for that. Uh, <laughs> Just, just like that, you know? Yeah. When I have ideas like this, I go to GitHub and type, make it possible to switch FX in the rack, the order, just without doing weird stuff. Because, <laughs> it's, yeah. Yeah. Right. So, so it's not right, right now passable, but I should write it down, you know? <laughs> Nano. <laughs> uh, switch FX order with arrow buttons or something. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. So awesome demonstration. Thanks. Um, Thanks. I noticed you're very, very proficient with the MIDI editor in Aru. And uh, generally, how long did it take you to get to? get to know other really well? Because I noticed by m for myself, uh, it takes a long time to, uh, to get a 
complicated software like a DHW uh, really well? How long did it take you to get these skills? Hmm. Um, I was doing music with piano roll in LMMS for, I don't know, seven years. This is, this is the fifth long play album. This is 60 minutes of music, and there are many more. So I, I had quite a lot of uh, exercise in the piano roll, but I, that was in a different program. And when I recently decided that I'm going to switch to Ardor for all my production, because LMMS is limiting me in a way that I would like to be able to surpass, and Ardor doesn't limit me. And since Ardor grew to be able to sequence MIDI, I can now switch to Ardor. I couldn't switch to Ardor 3. I can switch to Ardor 5. Uh, so it was hard. I reported a lot of bugs for Ardor MIDI handling and how things break. And sometimes you loop a region. and if a note touches the end of the region, it's never going to note out, and it's going to sound all the way through from the beginning, and it's broken. Well, it's not the only software that does it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I reported these kind of things, and it, it's being ironed out. There, there's, I think there's a lot of work that has been done on that, and it's, it's getting very much useful. It sometimes just something breaks, but everything sometimes breaks, but it breaks more, less and less. And I think it's worth putting effort into helping developers get it better, too. So it's lots of exercise and dedication. <laughs> uh, qu question here. So you have a fair bit of experience, it looks like, with Zinad sub effects with Ardor. You seem to be really fast and intuitive at that. I presume, well, you use the CAF plugins and a bunch of other stuff there as well. What do you find most lacking having a decent experience of all of the Linux audio tools that are currently available? Like, what's the one thing you miss? Is it a synth that has a particular feature? Is it more effects? Is it better integration of the components? What, what, like, what's the next step to improve the overall or your overall workflow? That's a tough one. <laughs> uh, Good. By the way, I feel like I was super slow today here because also I, I don't use the new interface for the SFX all the time right now. I'm very used to the old one, and I'm very fast with that, with that one. With this one, I'm sometimes stopping to look for things. I, I didn't learn it very well, but I want to. And also, I wanted to do it with that new interface today so we can see how it works, because I think it needs a big shout out, because Mark McCree has done enormous work building this new interface, and it has a great potential, and it's growing. It's and that kind of goes into the next thing I, you ask me, what is lacking? And I, I spent all my musical life in the basement making music for myself, sequencing stuff, and then putting out audio files. But recently, I'm starting to go on stage. I, I went to jam with a band, and I mapped some MIDI stuff to, to this Akai MPK Mini to be able to control Zenet sub effects, some effects, or modulation, or filters and stuff. And the new interface implements something called macro control, where you can map one knob to four different things and have them move in different directions or with different amounts. So we can have, you know, it's, there are some quirks and I'm reporting bugs whenever I use that, but that's what I'm missing, right? <laughs> but it's being developed. And I think that your library controller, con controller, 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 it kind of does the same thing, or maybe it will help do the same thing for software that doesn't implement it itself. Maybe. And yeah, I don't know. Yeah, more questions? Okay, then, uh, thank you very much again, and I think it was another round of applause. Thank you.